We're going to begin with some voters claiming to be victims of the old bait and switch as they fight to save their elementary school from closing. We're glad you're with us tonight at 11. Off the top, those voters are from the West Bloomfield School District in Kego Harbor. They passed a bond in 2017 with some of the money earmarked for its iconic century old elementary school. Before voting yes, they were assured Roosevelt Elementary, which had been on the chopping block five years earlier, would not be closed. Let's bring in Jason Colthorpe. He's there tonight live. So Jason, are they now talking about closing it? That's exactly what's on the table right now, Kimberly, and you can completely understand why some people would feel hornswoggled in all of this. But the district says tonight it told people it has not spent the, the millions of dollars that were earmarked for Roosevelt. This is in the heart of Kego Harbor. It's hard to describe Kego Harbor without mentioning Roosevelt Elementary. What it means is community. There's been talk of closing it for the better part of a decade, but in 2017, a bond was passed with money aimed at renovations that would keep the school open. But a week ago, parents, staff, and voters were stunned to find out West Bloomfield Schools was consolidating five elementaries to four, and Roosevelt appeared to be the odd school out. It's a hundred year old school. It's it's iconic. David Emerling, who was deeply involved with the bond, feels lied to. Absolutely a lie because they told us that this would not close. What about the bond dollars that were to that were planned for Roosevelt? Tonight during an informational Zoom meeting, school officials explained the money allocated for Roosevelt is virtually untouched. Why hasn't it been spent? I I don't know the exact particulars of that, but it would be um, my assumption that um, uh, we would like to wait until we're sure we're going to continue forward with Roosevelt indefinitely before we spend a significant amount of money on it. Many parents like Kirsten and Kevin Douglas feel like they didn't get their questions answered tonight. In the presentation tonight, they say that they're forward thinking. And yeah, they're forward thinking all right, but not out of the box thinking. They're thinking forward that they had always planned to close Roosevelt. And so they lied to the constituents. Yeah, people were pretty upset, but you can understand uh, when it comes to the history of this place, this school goes back. It's 100 years old, of course, but it was once the high school. It actually was a K through 12 school up until 1955. So a lot of people just think it would be a shame to see it go. There is an alternate plan, by the way, one that would close the second oldest uh, elementary school in the consolidation plan. But you certainly got the feeling tonight they were leaning more toward closing Roosevelt. Kim, you can see how people are frustrated, Jason. So I'm wondering what happens now? What's the next step here? Uh, they're going to take the input they got tonight. There was no public comment, but there were a lot of comments and questions in the chat. They're going to take that Monday to the task force, which precedes the school board meeting. And then the school board meeting will talk about it. And then again, a, f a week later. So we'll have to wait and see if there's a vote. But the district did say this is there are no rush to make this decision right now. Yeah. So we'll see. Okay. Kim. Jason, thanks.